was popping with your Maka like this. This white butterfly ascension. Come to give my Aries. Y'all read him. I don't have my Aries cards because I put them out with the moon. Hope y'all put y'all crystals and everything out. But right now y'all got marriage obliged. Gotta believe. So this week the universe is telling y'all y'all gotta believe in what it is that you want. Believe that it's obtainable. Believe that you'll get it. Because if you don't believe, how you gonna achieve it? How you gonna receive it? You can't. So, that's crown, and then we're going to get into your message. Capricorn so maybe y'all dealing with stability this week you got some type of a stability coming in let's see what's coming in for the collector something that's about to awaken you and what did I say receive be open to the gift that the universe is trying to save you. They're trying to get you stuff. Then you got birthday sex by Jeremiah. Somebody's birthday this week. Y'all gonna get y'all some birthday sex. And then we got look. Fire. The same call came out for the weekend reading. So that's you, Aries. That's fire. You know, you want passion. So somebody been dealing with the south node, but now they've having an awakening. Somebody been being detached, cold, but they have an awakening now. They've been in the south node. Or you've been in your south node, which means you've been in your lower self. But now you're waking up towards clarity. You're waking up towards knowing your purpose, knowing where you're going. You've been enlightened. You're seeing things clear. And I told you, open up. So splitting deck celebration. So y'all got a celebration coming this week. Happy moments. Happy times. Get ready for passion. So you got passion. Abundance. Coming your way this week. Could be dealing with a Gemini Aquarius or Libra. Some type of truth is being spoken about a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Hmm. Confirmation. And my nose itching. Pluto, transformation, there's some type of change within a connection with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There's a transformation. Someone is waking up, having an awakening. Realizing the truth of the matter. Realizing the truth of the situation. There's been a transformation with someone's thoughts. How do you think? Why are they thinking the way that they're thinking?
compassion and seeds. So maybe y'all planted some seeds in the spring. Or maybe you was self-caring for yourself, nurturing yourself, having compassion for yourself. Your seeds are being, the seeds are being planted for the spring. Maybe there will be growth with the seeds that you planted, the work that you put in. We got Bodhi by Erica Badu. So first we have birthday sex, now we got booty. So somebody got sex on their mind, to say the least. And then y'all got these seeds, maybe y'all planting for all that wish fulfillment to come. So maybe when you speak this truth with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you get wish fulfillment. You get the moon, the stars, and everything above. Maybe it's been rocky. It's been some heated arguments. But now y'all coming to common ground. Transform that negative energy. Mm. So we got toxicity. North node. And we got south node. So as I said, you're learning your purpose. You know what your purpose is. Taking out those rose tinted glasses. You've been getting dreams. And the universe wants you to be grateful for what you have. As you have a lot more than others. You're living in your purpose. You're walking in your purpose. Divine feminine, there you are. You've been nurturing yourself. You've been loving on yourself. Putting that work in, releasing yourself from toxic patterns, toxic people, toxic bonds. And if you haven't released yourself, you will be releasing yourself. For people and places and things that no longer serve you. You're getting out of that confusion. You know now that there's no confusion. You know where you're going. You know where you're meant to be. You've been getting dreams from possible past loved ones while you're sleeping. See? Activating your higher self. Being in your north note. Being in your purpose. So y'all can see all the cards. There you go. So y'all see and know your purpose now. You know that you needed to release toxic people, toxic relationships, toxic situations that no longer serve you. Because you're realizing that I told you these spirit guys are guiding you. They're coming to you in your dreams. And I told you there's been some type of you releasing people that no longer serve you. So yeah, they got disharmony, triggers. Maybe someone triggers you. Maybe this person makes you feel vulnerable. Or this person feels vulnerable towards you. I got some type of reunion. Maybe after this truth is spoken, we have this reunion because someone is finally taking that mask off. So y'all can have this reunion, this renewal. Send that little Kevin Gates. So you're having this awakening 
actually having this epiphany. Let's see. Let's clarify toxicity. So you've had this awakening of who these people are that you need to let go. In the dream state, you've had downloads. You know, passed on loved ones. It's sending you messages showing you the path that you need to go. And as I say that, we got the emperor and the world. And I said to clarify toxicity. So the emperor is realizing that it's time to live their best life. He or she. It's time to close out toxic cycles. Be vulnerable and obedient to what the ancestors and your spirit guides are telling you. See? The high priestess. You've been being told this. Maybe you have having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of burns that you haven't been speaking on. They haven't spoken on these things that you, that you feel are holding you back. You've been being silent, withdrawn to yourself, feeling disharmony, feeling like you need to do something, feel like you need to make a move. Like you need to break free of something, break free of these burdens and responsibilities that's weighing you down. Someone that's weighing you down. Your thoughts. And then you got a hard front at the bottom. So that's telling me that you are releasing this relationship. They got booed up, remix, Ellie, Nicki Minaj. Or maybe you having a remix, a redo with this person. Renew. Double confirmation. So y'all yeah, have this renewal coming after you release these burdens. You have an intuition. You've been keeping yourself quiet, holding yourself back from how you truly feel because there have been situations around you burdening you. You've been healing, thinking, contemplating. So you've gotten out of the burdens and now you're healing and thinking of what's next. Something new that get me high like you. And there's that new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. So you got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. You have something tangible coming in. Communication about something tangible that's going to make you feel like a wish fulfillment. You're going to have to break loose of toxic behavior, toxic patterns, toxic people. The universe is guiding you, sending you messages in your dreams about who's for you, who's not for you, who's holding you back, who's burdening you. Who's been wearing a mask? They are showing, the universe is showing you who these people really are and who you need to let go. And since you are being obedient, the universe is going to bless you with this nice new offer that's coming straight from the universe. So you have abundance coming. 
It's just you have to release those people that you may feel comfortable with. Those people that you may have grown up with. You may have been with for a while. But just because you've grown with a person doesn't mean you can't grow apart from a person. Some people we have to let go. I cry. Anthony Hamilton. Anthony Hamilton is a Aquarius. Let me get y'all one more. So someone's been in their feelings, possibly because they don't need to let someone go. Ordinary love. Shade. Cap didn't I say Capricorn at the beginning? So this person gives you I'm hearing butterflies. This person gives you chills. But you have to let go of previous unhealthy relationships to get to this gift that the universe is giving you. Well, Aries, this is y'all reading. Thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support because y'all fucks with me. Y'all have the most views every week. So I do appreciate that. And I've been a little under the weather, but I'll definitely give y'all a bonus read just because y'all rocks with me. Thank you for everything. All the information y'all need from me is below. Y'all be easy. And this is the reading from August the 15th to August the 21st. Damn, y'all. This is already middle of the month. Time is flying. Y'all be easy.